I'm an event planner, but I'm also a designer. I'm able to plan the wedding, but I'm also able to design it from conceptual design on through to the actual product. I've been fortunate enough to have different facets and experiences of the industry. So the planning is always what I thought I would want to do. But then the floral design came as a bonus, so to speak, because I was able to have the opportunity to buy a flower shop on Fisher Island. And it gave me the exposure of really being able to capture my vision into the actual execution of it. So I was able to control the whole thing from start to finish. In working with alumni relations at St. Thomas University, which is where I got my bachelor's degree, I ended up running the events department and that's when I fell in love and I was like, oh my goodness, this is exactly what God wanted me to do. And I pursued it to its best and here I am today. I was born in Haiti and at the age of one, we moved to Paris and I've been there for nine years and then we came to the US at 10 and I've um, been here ever since. So I'm American, French, Haitian. My way of expressing myself on behalf of my clients, the bride, the groom, and every event that I do, it's an expression of them through me. I always want to make sure that in 20 years, when they open up their photos and look through them or look at in their house and they have portraits on the wall, that it's always something that they're proud of, something that's universal, timeless, but then there's always a twist and the twist, I think, comes from their personality showing through, whether it be through a party favor or the monogram or just something that really people can walk in the room and say, wow, this is John and Jenny's wedding, you know, and that's my job. People walked into a wedding and didn't know really who the designer was behind it, um, but knew that it was an expression of personalized experiences from the bride and groom. The last wedding I did uh, in New York, um, we did butterflies because it meant really something so important to them emotionally. So we, we, we hit them around the room and we told the client, hide and go seek. So in the room, at the reception, while they're dancing, getting a drink, they're like, oh my God, I spot a butterfly. And that just gave me butterflies because I just knew that I did my job and it just that. came full circle. I think that to do your job well as a designer and planner, you need to draw from different facets. And one of them is definitely the venue. If a bride picks Vizcaya, for example, which is located in Miami, uh, Florida, then you would say to yourself that maybe she's more a little bit opulent, Mediterranean, wants more of a European, you know, castle-like, you know, uh, whimsical feel. Uh, if you pick Faina, then you're looking for modern, avant-garde, you're looking for architecture. And so that's one of the aspects that I look at but then also the bride and groom themselves. So one question that I personally ask them is, send me pictures of what you have in your apartment. I wanna see exactly what you have on your wall. How, how is your couch and living room set up? So that I can really draw from those personalized choices that they've made and bring it into the actual reception space or the ceremony space. I don't bring it all in, obviously, but I just wanna make sure that I'm understanding. And the key for planners these days is to make sure that you listen, because if you listen, then you're, that's all you need, that's the truth, that's the emotional truth. I am a very hard critic. I have um, seen a lot, thankfully, obviously, I've been exposed to a lot just through my journey as a person individually. Um, I just always wanna make sure that whatever I affiliate myself with is always a move forward. It's like a giraffe. I always feel like, you know, you wanna always aim at the tree to eat your food and your resources and your resources. So I'm always trying to elevate my skills as a designer and everything, whether I, I, I can go to Walmart and literally see something that's on the sidewalk and I'm like, oh wait, I snap a picture. I have a gallery of photos that just inspire me to say one day, somewhere, somehow, is gonna come to life and I'm gonna use that inspiration towards my design. My favorite part of the wedding is going to be the horror, actually, just because they call me Rabbi Gertie, number one. So I, I, I do 90, 90 plus percent of Jewish weddings and the Jewish religion is so beautiful in the symbolism from the ceremony, breaking the glass, the chuppah, what it, what it exudes and, and symbolizes. The horror to me is where you're gonna get everyone that you love in that one room and they're really physically, emotionally invested in you for those three, four, five, sometimes 20 minutes um, of a horror and just dancing around you and showing you that love. So that right there to me, it's what the wedding is all about for the most part. If it's not a Jewish wedding, to be honest, I think that it's gonna be um, probably just the dancing part because that's where you see people's personalities. I think that in the beginning, people are a little bit uncomfortable. Where do I sit? Do I have a reserved seating, etc. But then later on, as they get drinks and they kind of feel more merry, they evolve and they, true, they, they, they show their true self. And that's where I think that I like to, to kind of be like the outside person looking in. I choose my location based on what aspires me to pick it. 
Now, to be biased, I would probably pick somewhere in France, uh, Italy, Spain. I studied in Spain um, you know, when I was in college. So somewhere in Europe would be probably a first choice. But then I'm also very exotic. I love to you know, experience with different foods, et cetera. So somewhere actually in India, I think the architecture, or even Morocco, the structures, the beautiful culture behind it, I think that is really, really beautiful. And uh, it takes a special couple to go forward with such a vision. It's a priceless moment when I see them coming towards me, because I'm always there at the end, um, to, sh to make sure that they're walking away knowing that we technically drop the mic. Like, it's just kind of like, they do, they, sometimes they don't even have words. And we look at each other, and we cry, and we hug. And it's just that. It's, it's just that, that emotional connection of success. My, my support system is amazing. My husband, we've been together for 23 years since high school. Um, and he's the most fun, supportive, loving dad that you could ever meet in your life. So with him holding it down, it's pretty cool knowing that I'm able to walk away from that and know that my kids, the kids are going to be all right. You know, mom has got to work. I'm the biggest tomboy you'll ever meet. This is all an illusion, I promise you. I'm home watching Star Wars, Avengers with my boys. I got two boys and a husband. We just chill on the couch and just watch movies. We love it. And cuddle on my sleep number bed. <laughs> well, actually, my other passion is dancing. I was going to actually pursue a ballroom uh, salsa division dancing career before I met my husband and he had me at hello and so I stayed and this is the beautiful story that evolved.